Born in Pyongyang, the current capital of North Korea, General Pak Sun Yup went south of the 38th parallel after World War II. He then joined the Republic of Korea Constabulary, currently known as the ROC Army. After that, the rest was history. So he was uh, 29 years old uh, when the Korean War began, and he was a division commander. Uh, his division held the area around Taebudong, which was really the North Koreans' main effort to break through the Pusan perimeter. And uh, some of the bloodiest battles of the entire Korean War took place during the defense of the Pusan perimeter. In one instance, his division launched a counterattack. A piece of uh, key real estate had changed hands 13 times in one day. And when he launched the last counterattack, he led from the front, and before the, he gave the order to attack, he told his men if he personally turned back for them to shoot him. So um, talking about leading from the front gives a, a new definition to, uh, of leading from the front. During the defense of the Pusan perimeter, it was the only instance in the Korean War where large-sized U.S. forces were placed under the command and control of a ROC Army field commander. Leading numerous battles throughout the Korean War, General Peck's divisions were often mistaken for U.S. troops by the North Korean forces because his divisions were so organized in their tactics and tenacious in their forward movements. Using military terminology, I would qualify General Peck as a combat multiplier. And General Peck had a unique and large skill set, but above all else, the thing that he brought to the table was effective leadership. You have to consider that without people like my grandfather, without my grandfather especially, that South Korea could have ended up as a dictatorship uh, like North Korea and living under the oppressive rulers. Uh, and consider that today Korea is a free nation, you know, with a uh, very prosperous, uh, with a lot of freedoms that we enjoy. Um, I think, you know, people like my grandfather and American soldiers as well have made an important contribution to that. Peck is truly an, a, a national treasure. He is a living bridge to, to history. He was the consummate professional soldier. When speaking to General Peck about the past compared to the present and how he feels about the Republic of Korea today, his humble and kind nature truly comes out. It has been 62 years since the Korean War ended. Most of the people from that time passed away already and new generations are coming over. Many people today in Korea may not know the hard times we had to go through back in the days to make this nation prosper. But I hope young people would dedicate themselves to make this country flourish like we did. And growing up, my grandfather, you know, was always grandpa or you know, Harabaji. He wasn't, uh, you know, General Peck to the same extent. He was always uh, very humble, uh, very, you know, cared about others. Uh, he didn't you know, do what he did, didn't become a national hero, he didn't ask to be that, he didn't ask to become a general. He stepped up to the plate and um, did what the job required. Um, obviously, I'm very pleased that the country has rewarded him as a result. Now celebrating his 95th birthday, General Peck is the honorary commanding general of the 8th Army and serving as a constant reminder of not only the importance of U.S. and ROC Army alliance, but a reminder of how things used to be. Senior Airman Taylor West, Yongsan, Korea.